I've really tried to focus on the details in this vehicle of the accessories. So I'm gonna show you four of these details that I think I've got right. Firstly, the seat covers. These are Aussie made by Black Duck and they beautifully have embroidered them with a rapid red color here to match the paint job of the Ford. And they've also popped in my logo and I reckon they look mint. They're made with the four elements fabric here, which is fully waterproof, but also nice and soft to touch. So it's great when you're wearing shorts, when you jump out of a waterhole and jump back in here, you know you're not damaging the upholstery below. Next up, we have the Uniden X-Track 80 model. Now this is a cracker, this one. One of my favorite features with this is the replay button. It allows you to replay that last transmission, which is so handy when you're bopping out to the tunes behind the wheel really loud and you can't hear the CB. You then turn your stereo down, hit the replay button without having to tell someone else to please repeat their message. The other cool thing about the x tracks is that they also have a tracking function which communicates with their handheld UHF. A really cool feature, especially if you've got kids that are wanting to roam around the bush a little bit but you still want to know exactly where they are. Such a cool feature. Outside the vehicle, I have my clear view mirrors. Remember that the F-150 has a towing capacity of four and a half tonne. That's a good tonne more than most dual cab utes on the market. So I got clear view to whip me up some mirrors and these ones are actually a prototype. They are gonna actually offer them very, very soon through Ford Australia, but they're just doing their final checks and I'm helping them do a little bit of outback testing to make sure they are Mickey Mouse. And as you'd expect, they've got all the integrated Ford technology bolted straight into these clear view mirrors. But what you're looking at is a far bigger mirror with two different lenses. So the top mirror is the main mirror that I'm gonna look at when I'm on the road because that is the largest mirror. But the small one, it is fantastic for those close proximity areas, like when you're wanting to look back at your back wheels. But obviously these are towing mirrors, so the big party trick with them is you whip them out and you get fantastic rearward vision. And the final detail that I have mounted out front is the Nighthawk VCT driving lights. Now, these are an LED light, but the beauty of them is that they are fully adjustable. You can adjust the intensity over seven settings, but you can also adjust the color temperature. So you can have a yellowy light if you're going through snowy areas or driving in a little bit of dust, or you can swing that right around to being a blue light or anything in between. Basically the power is with you, the driver, you can choose what you like. And the intensity changes are actually really quite handy as well because despite them being a really, really bright light, sometimes, particularly when you've got reflective road signs, you don't want that entire intensity because it just comes back and smacks you right in the retina. So if you can just dial them down a little bit, it is really handy. So one of my favorites. Now the Nighthawks have been mounted to a temporary bull bar as the ARB finished product wasn't quite out of the oven. But we got a sneak peek of what the ARB bar looks like. Pretty schmick. <laughs> 